And you just mentioned Microsoft and NVIDIA, two US companies that have a lot of control over compute power when it comes to AI. For companies that are building big foundation models, do they have to partner with one of these US tech giants? Well, compute is a really key part of being able to train an AI system of this scale. Uh, and, and interestingly, an embodied AI system in many ways requires uh, more compute and data than some of these language models that we've seen because uh, video and imagery data is, is just uh, you know, a much larger, uh, it takes up more gigabytes than, 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 than language at a, at a basic level. Um, but as we see these foundation models move to more modalities and introduce uh, uh, not just language but vision and action, and they're able to control these vehicles, it, it does put pressure on, on, on the, the frontiers of, of compute. And so that's why we've partnered with some of the world's best. Uh, and not only on the compute side, on the data side, uh, you know, we've aimed to build the most uh, diverse and um, you know, globally scalable uh, uh, training data to be able to make sure that our vehicle can experience as wide a variety of, of scenarios, different uh, vehicle types, different uh, uh, sensors, architectures, from camera systems to cameras and radar to cameras, radars, and LIDAR, uh, all kinds of different architectures to be able to give us that diversity so that we can build a, a general purpose embodied AI. Ultimately, I think uh, we have an opportunity to provide a system that is uh, the safest embodied AI to fleets and automotive manufacturers because it can learn from such a diversity, and that, that's all possible because of the compute that, that we train it on.